Hello and welcome to Cushy TV, the Straight Talking YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be paying tribute to Irish bare knuckle fighter Dan Rooney. Yeah, Irish traveller, big Dan Rooney. Yeah, um, stands around a six foot, six one, a very big. This one, you can see. I've never met the man, but it's, you see plenty of images. Very, very big, strong man, good athletic fella. So yeah, I'm going to touch on what might have been. When I say what might have been, if Dan Rooney's a very good fighter with a good engine. And if I'm to be perfectly frank, he didn't really, his technical ability wasn't really there. But if you, where I'm coming from in this tribute to Dan, more so he's meant to be a very, very nice man and we all like nice people. Uh, do we have anything in common with Dan Rooney? Well, we, we're both travellers. I'm an English traveller and he's an Irish traveller. Um, we're both in the heavyweight fight game. But more importantly, we both love our Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, our saviour, our top man. So that's what we have in common. Let's go on to Dan's fight career. Um, I don't know in depth too much about his fight career, but I think he may be unbeaten. And he may have had a couple of fights where there were technical draws, um, where, you know, things were called even. So, but um, I don't think he was beaten, and I stand corrected. I don't really know because, uh, you know, when I'm here in London, England, and Dan's over in Ireland and wherever, I don't quite know. It's not easy to get the picture of, say, a London fighter. But what we do know, I've seen footage of him fighting the legendary fighter, Dennis Aini McGinley. Oh, Dennis Aini McGinley's, you know, noted as a legendary fighter, a very strong, hard man. Um, and Dan had a fight with him, and, and Dan had a big, strong engine. You know, he was, he was fighting fast and hard. Dan is moving in, yes? Dan hits me again in the mouth with an uppercut. Yes? Dan is not right. And um, I don't quite know how that fight finished because it ended a bit premature. But we, what we did see is the action. I don't know what the result was exactly. Um, but what we did see is Dan fighting away without great technical ability. We didn't have great technique. And that's clear to see. But still he's fighting these top, top legendary fighters in Ireland. Um, I think he even had a fight with Joe Joyce. I'm not sure how that one finished either. I think that may have finished in a technical draw or something. But the thing is, Dan was out there fighting these very, very big, strong men without the technical ability. And you've got to wonder what would happen if fighters like Dan Rooney, yeah, had been really well schooled, really well schooled. Could they be the heavyweight champion in the making? And that's really where I'm coming from here with Dan Rooney. He's a nice fella. Um, supposedly he's a gentleman, he took all of it, all of his fights right out there, you know, to, into people's faces, he feared not, he, he was there to give it a good go without the technical ability. Now we wondered, could somebody like Dan Rooney have been heavyweight champion of the world, yeah, if they was reined in technically, you know, if they were technically putting their punches correctly together and they were well schooled as a boxer, you know, because they never lacked art, did they? They never lacked um, athletic ab ability, they never lacked strength. But if you put that in there, that natural fighting instinct, it just makes me wonder, couple that in there, mould it, and make them technically rounded, how good were these fighters? And I know Dan's not alone in that field with English and Irish travellers alike, because a lot of them who didn't get schooled and still become really good fighters, you know. I mean, Johnny Love from Kent, on the London Kent border, that he springs to mind. He went professional without having any amateur rap fights, as did my grandfather, Jack Daly, and he actually fought for titles. So you make you wonder, like, um, your Dan Rooney's and your Jack Daly's and your Johnny Love's, and many more, I'm sure there's many more other fighters, though, you guys out there who've done it the same way with hardly any formal schooling. You know, I don't, I don't think John John Stanley, the legendary fighter, boxes an amateur. I'll stand corrected there, but... They were still top, top men, and you make you wonder. And um, let's stay focused on Dan Rooney. So, yeah, Dan just um, on, on the fighting way of life, um, become a devout born again Christian and turned his life to the Lord Jesus Christ. And apparently, goes out there and continues. Oh, Jesus. To preach the good word, and he just said goodbye fighting, not for me. Just want to go out there and punch He's a lovely man. I think Dan's around the age of 70 now. I couldn't find any Wikipedia on him. But um, up there and out there, we all like the good man. But basically, the moral of the story, yeah, Dan Rooney brings to the table a hell of a fight. 
what would he have brought if he was really technically trained and him and many others alike. So it's just a small tribute out there, keeping you in focus. Um, there's plenty of room out there for good guys and fighters as well. And um, Dan Rooney's one of them. And the great Joe Louie, the great Joe Louie, the longest reigning heavyweight champion in the world, wooden arm or fly. Get him in the ring, different man. So there's plenty of room out there for the good guys to do a bit of fighting as well. Just a small tribute. Dan, if you see it, um, give us a thumb up. And um, keep the good work up with our, keep the good work up with our good Lord Jesus Christ. Hope you've enjoyed this little mini tribute. What would he have been, Big Dan Rooney, if he'd have been schooled correctly? In the meantime, 